we got here to Hollywood Studios and we are walking in and you can actually see the Skyliner gondola construction really, really well and it looks like we're gonna get to walk right past the station for it. You can see the cables are all attached here. So this is set to open in the fall, fall of 2019. It just like stretches back all the way down. So cool. We're trying to figure out if this building we see in the distance is the new Riviera Hotel. I think it might be. So they also are doing some construction for the brand new bus terminals that they're gonna have. Right now they just kind of have a temporary setup, but these will all be the new bus terminals all themed to Hollywood Studios. It's cool, you can see that these right here are still getting painted compared to all of the other ones. They just look like concrete slabs, especially that one over there. And then look, you can start to see where the gondolas are gonna come in at down here. I'm really looking forward to this opening. Here you can see more up close at the gondola construction. Here's another angle at the station that you'll come in from the gondolas. I cannot wait for this. This will be so cool. Hi, baby. It's a Disney ducky. There's some more of his friends down here. Okay, time to head into the studios. So me and my mom both just bought brand new sunglasses. Like I went with these ones, they are white and they have little um, like Mickey hats on the side of them. I thought they were very Hollywood so it's appropriate going into this park right now. But yeah, we had seen online that they came out with some new Disney sunglasses and this is the first that I've seen these any place. Wait, let me show you a close up. So look, they got the Mickey hat and on the inside they have like Mickey cartoons and comics. They are super adorable. <laughs> and then my mom just went ahead and she bought these with these like Minnie Mouse dots. They're super cute. We're inside Hollywood Studios. Oh, mom, you got your new sunglasses on. Yay. Rocking the dots. I got my sunglasses. <laughs> so yes, we are going to go back now and we have our Alien Swirling Saucer Fast Pass. That is at 4.50. So I think we have like a little over a half hour until we can use that but we're gonna go back and see the brand new Incredibles area that just opened up. It's in that section where you used to enter Toy Story Mania before they rerouted it into Toy Story Land. So we wanna go see that section because that literally just opened like a couple weeks ago, not even. It was maybe like two, two weeks ago, something around, somewhere around there. But yeah, they have, it's all themed to the Incredibles. They do an Incredibles dance party. And the big thing that we really wanna see there is they have the Jack-Jack Cookie Nut Num-nums, which everyone says is just incredible. Hey, no pun intended. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. Incredible. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we want to go see. So here, this is where I used to go to Toy Story Mania, but now it is the, the Incredibles area. And what do they call that? Minisaburg? Yes, I think that's how you say it. And right here they have the market, and this is where you can get the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num. Or maybe not. You don't see it up there? Maybe it's over at, oh maybe it's at this place. All right, so we're heading into Minisaburg. Oh look, there's Jack Jack up top there. <laughs> oh, you found it, Mom? My mom, my mom found the Jack Jack cookie num nums. There's Jack Jack himself. <laughs> so this is where you come to get it. It is here at the neighborhood bakery. I'm almost certain that this used to be the Barrel Monkeys and it's been rethemed to a giant thermos. And then how cute is this? Jack Jack ran through the wall. <laughs> so over here this was set up as kind of like a fun Instagram spot that you can take some pictures with the Incredibles backdrop. 
So here it is, we just got the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num. It is served warm. Look how it's like melting. It looks really good. So we just had the Jack Jack Cookie Num Num. It was incredible. It was, the fact that it's served warm is so good. Oh, and look, they have this really cute, oh, super family. That is cute. They have a photo pass photographer out here. Oh, I love this. Oh, you wanna do it? Okay, so we're gonna do the photo op. We get to pick out our signs. They have some he's incredible, she's incredible. She's incredible. Oh, here's a super daughter. Super daughter. So they have a super mom and dad. There's incredible mom. Incredible mom, where's incredible dad? Let's see if we can find. Incredible. incredible couple. Super baby. He's incredible. Right, oh, there we go. <laughs> And here they have the Edna Mode experience where you can actually meet and greet with Edna Mode. You can see she's right inside here. This used to be where Buzz and Woody used to meet prior to them then. Oh look, she has Slinky Dog. Prior to them moving into Toy Story Land. So cute. <laughs> they have these painted on the ground, little Jack Jack Num Num crumbs. Oh, <laughs> that's really cute. Okay, we're gonna head into Toy Story Land, and I've been seeing these all throughout Hollywood Studios here. They have it ready for the 30th anniversary, which they're gonna be celebrating this year, and they have all of the different characters. How cute! There's Slinky, and there one Slinky dog. Here is Buzz meeting and greeting. And here comes Slinky dog. I love how he talks as you're on the ride. So it's currently 95 minutes for Slinky. All right, congrats. Congratulations, you are all now honorary members of our free nominee. It's here time to take our official vote. I want everyone to go ahead and raise your right hand.
at one point, once I turned the camera off, <laughs> the funniest thing happened. We like slammed, me and my mom slammed into each other. At one point, like if you're not gripping on, you will just like, woo, 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 like the going back and forth. And like, we just kept sliding and I'd bump into you, then you'd bump into me. And we were just going back and forth. Then I bumped into the side of the, and then you were like, our aliens going crazy, I think. <laughs> it was very fun. So we're now gonna walk through One Man Stream, and we came in here because we saw at the end of this where they have the character meet and greet spot. They are doing the Mike and Sully meet and greet, and we love Monsters Inc. So this will be really fun. I think me and my dad met Mike and Sully a couple years ago here at Hollywood Studios. It was back when the back lot was a thing. So yeah, it's gonna be cool to come and see see them now here. And they have so many neat exhibits in here. I'm such a big Walt and Roy Disney fan. So this stuff just is, it's magical. These exhibits are new. I have not been in here in a bit, so this is cool. This is now more of the modern day parks. I love all this Mary Blair art. We're gonna take a rain check on Mike and Sully because it was 50 minutes to meet them. So we'll come back some other time and do that. and go back over to Epcot for some more Festival of the Arts, but I am like on cloud nine right now because I am really excited. I'm actually, tomorrow morning, I will be back here at Hollywood Studios to do the early morning magic where you get to go into Toy Story Land before park opening and basically have like the whole thing to yourself, ride all of the rides, you get breakfast. I really wanted to do this because when I was with my friends the other night, all of them are gonna be doing this experience tomorrow and I was like really interested in it so I kept debating like, you know, I really wanna do it. And so when we were here just now, I went up to that information counter, um, right up kind of like in the main hub once you go down the main part of the street here at Hollywood Studios. And I asked there, and the guy looked and said that they were all sold out for the event. And we were getting ready to head out of the park, and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna stop in here at Guest Relations and see what they could do. And so I asked again at Guest Relations, and they were able to get me in. So I'm coming here again tomorrow morning. I will be here bright and early at seven o'clock in the morning with my friends and we are going to do early morning magic. I am so excited. And then eventually the boardwalk. We're on the boat to Epcot now. More festival arts. <laughs> So we just got off here at the Swan. We took the boat over to here. We're gonna go inside here, walk around, take some pictures, and then we're gonna walk the rest of the way over to Epcot for our night there. This resort is very, very pretty. So like I've said before, we've stayed in the past over at the Dolphin, but never here on the Swan side. Me and my mom just took a picture in this. They have this little Instagram spot that you can do. Hashtag Swan and Dolphin, or just hashtag Swan Dolphin. There we go. <laughs> And now we're going to walk to Epcot. It is a beautiful evening. Oh my gosh. It feels just so comfortable out here. It was a little humid right after it had rained earlier and it's just, it's nice and warm. There's a little bit, as the sun's setting, a little bit of a chill in the air. We're comfortable in our spirit jerseys. I got my sparkly one on today, but oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. Like. <laughs> I can't believe back home right now, it's 32 degrees. 
and that was when I checked a couple hours ago. I bet it's even less now that it's become evening and I don't want to go home tomorrow. <laughs> They're actually calling for snow tomorrow back home. So I keep saying maybe we'll get snowed in down here. I don't know, that'd be, that'd be kind of awesome. <laughs> if we could get stuck in Disney World, I'd be about that. <laughs> So when we walked from Swan and Dolphin the other day, when we got the bus to here, we um, went this way down into the boardwalk and around. So today we're gonna jazz it up. We're gonna go this way. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> You're running. You can see Spaceship Earth right through there. Look how pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. This is a really nice area, the boardwalk and yacht and beach over here. This is so pretty. Over here they have the sand bottom pool that is shared between the yacht club and the beach club. And it just looks so awesome. Okay, so we're now here over at International Gateway and about to go into Epcot. And once again, we're walking past all of this gondola construction. I cannot wait for this to open. I really want to ride in the gondolas and see all the different views that they will offer. <laughs> My mom just pointed out, to, oh wait, we're blurry. Let's see, yeah. kind of focus. Okay, there we go. Okay, my mom just pointed out something. We almost did the four parts challenge. This will be part three. Of today. All we'd have to do is get on a monorail or over to Magic Go to Magic <laughs> But I don't think it's happening. Oh my gosh, and very like unintentionally, like we had the plans at um, Animal Kingdom earlier. Then we wanted to go to Hollywood Studios to see what Toy Story Land was like. Then when we realized all the wait times were kind of busy, we we're like, well, let's go to Epcot and do more Festival of the Arts. So yeah, no, little did we know we were gonna do three parts today, but we just hit one more, we would do the challenge of four parks. When it, one day I really, really want to do that. I want to do like the proper challenge and like do so many things in each park. But yeah, that, that will come one day. I really want to do that. We go around to the American Garden Theater. We're looking up right now what time it is to see when the Disney on Broadway concert series will take place because we'd love to catch some of that. So then we can say we've experienced like all the different aspects that this festival has to offer. Please welcome the stars of Disney on Broadway's oh <laughs>